Health Minister Gillian Skinner was in town to inspect the $106 million redevelopment of Wollongong Hospital. She says the state health cuts from the federal budget won't negatively impact the new facility. It's a lift Wollongong Hospital needs. Health Minister Gillian Skinner was there to inspect progress and sign off on the next milestone, the highest point of the development, marked by a tradition known as a pine-topping ceremony. The new clinical services block, which provides seven new operating theatres, uh, additional floor space, I think 70 new surgical beds, uh, new space in the emergency department, a major rebuild, as well as a new emergency department and ambulatory care centre. The ED upgrades are said to be completed mid to late next Next year, streamlining waiting times for patients. Gives us extra growth and capacity for managing those patients that will be here for a short period of time and require some treatment, uh, but obviously we still have the acute area for those patients who have more acute and more urgent needs. The Minister says state health cuts in the federal budget won't affect the development, which in its entirety will be complete by 2017. Physical works on the $27 million multi-storey car park began yesterday yesterday. The station will provide an additional 700 spaces but parking fees will rise. We're hoping to maybe commission the new car park with, um, in July or late 2015. Construction has been delayed over a dispute with the union to relocate maintenance staff stationed where the car park will go. A temporary shed is being built. The union says it wants confirmation that this temporary facility won't become permanent, but hospital management say the staff will be relocated before the middle of next year. They will be situated within the hospital. Melissa Jaros, Wind News.